A question that many sisters may have is how do I prepare for the last 10 nights of Ramadan? What if I'm not able to go to the masjid? What if I'm not able to go for atikaf? So sisters, just because you can't pray tarawih in the masjid or go for atikaf, it doesn't mean you shouldn't strive as much as you can in praying tarawih in your home. Especially in these last 10 nights, we know that in one of these nights is Laid al-Qadr. And the Prophet wasallam said about this night, من قام ليلة القدر إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه Whoever stood in the night of Laylatul Qadr with sincere iman hoping for the reward from Allah he'll have his previous sins forgiven. Now if it's hard for you to stay awake for all of the last 10 nights of Ramadan then my advice is to focus on the odd nights. Focus on the night of the 21st the night of the 23rd the night of the 25th and especially the night of the 27th and the 29th. Also, sisters, you need to know that you don't have to pray all your prayers in the beginning of the night. You could pray some of your prayers in the beginning of the night and then set your alarm and wake up in the middle of the night or wake up at the end of the night. And you're also allowed to hold your mushaf when you pray. You can read from the Arabic mushaf if you need to while you're praying. And Aisha radiallahu anha tells us that whenever these last 10 nights used to come to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he would ahya layl meaning that he would stay awake and make these nights alive with the worship of Allah. So that's why, my dear sisters, even if you can't pray, don't lie down and go to sleep. Stay awake and strive to do as many other acts of worship as you can in these nights. And bring these nights alive with your dhikr of Allah, with your dua, with your saying astaghfirullah, with your reciting the Qur'an and making repentance to Allah. I ask Allah to barak wa ta'ala, to accept all of our righteous deeds in this month. I ask him to accept all of our fasting, our prayers, our sadaqah, our recitation of the Quran. I ask him to make us from those who are forgiven in this month and saved from the fire of the next life. And may he make us from those who enter Jannatul Firdaus al A'la. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Ramadan. Come home.